Hey, and welcome back to cdavidson.com. I'm finally back with another video, and today I'll be showing you a neat little program for a PC that's called WinLaunch. As I started to use my PC more seriously for gaming last year, I quickly realized that one thing that was bugging me was that I was missing some kind of menu where I could quickly select and start up the game that I felt like playing right there and then. Having them all scattered throughout the start menu, you know, like this, it doesn't cut it for me. So, I wanted something more accessible, something more organized. I was browsing around on the internet, looking at different alternatives, and then I found this. WinLaunch. What WinLaunch does is to organize your apps and programs in a way that you want and then keeps it within this handy pop-up menu. In my case, I simply press tab and shift at the same time and WinLaunch pops up, giving me the option of starting any game or program that I like. For those of you who have used a Mac computer, this is very similar to Launchpad. You know, right here on the page it even says OS X Launchpad on Windows. So yeah. Pretty much a copy, but anyway, when you start up WinLaunch for the first time, it presents you with an empty space for you to fill with whatever shortcuts you desire. Let me bring it up here. There you go. Um, so, what you do is just hit Control and F, and it will show you this window. And here you simply drag and drop your files, and it will add them to the menu. When you're done, you Control and F, and it'll go back. Um, anyway, let's start by looking at the settings and the options available to customize this program. You down here in the left hand corner, you have a plus sign. If you click it, it will reveal the menu. Hit the settings button and well, it will present you with the settings menu. Imagine that. So well, here we will find the various options to set up WinLaunch as we like. If you wanted to start with uh, Windows or if you want to change the design, you can change the background, animation, sizes, colors, images for your folders, and various ways to activate the, the menu. Here you can see that I'm enabling hotkey, shift and tab. You can have hot corners, which means that if you bring the pointer up to a corner, it will activate WinLaunch. Or even set a button on your mouse if you prefer that. Yes, the options are various and yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, when we're done setting WinLaunch up the way we want it, we need to fill it with content. And as I said previously, Hit Control and F to get the, the, this window. You can drag and drop in full screen mode, but sometimes it locks up, so do it this way and it will work every time. Uh, when you've added content and you want to change the placement of the icons, it's dragging and dropping. Everything is dragging and dropping, very easy. If you want to create a folder, just put two icons on top of each other and it will put them in a folder. And as you can see, I made a few folders up here uh, with different genres. This is so that I, that I can keep everything on one page. You don't have to do that. You can have several pages. I don't know how many, but I'm sure you can have plenty enough. So yeah, you can really set it up the way that you want. Um, another thing you can do is to customize the, uh, the icons themselves. Just right click and hit edit. Here you can change the icon to whatever you want. You can change the name of the title, uh, the path to, to the app or game, or different arguments or variables to use when you start it. Like for instance, sometimes you can add an argument to make it start in full screen or a certain resolution or things like that. So yeah, that's WinLaunch. 
Uh, it's a very easy, accessible, and neat looking launcher. It's completely free. You just go to winlaunch.org, hit the download now, and and there you go. And don't mind it saying Vista 7, 8, and 8.1. It does work with Windows 10. I'm currently using Windows 10, and I have no problems at all with it. So, yeah, they just need to update their pra their page here. Anyway, I just wanted to share about this neat little program. I find it very, very useful, and I was thinking that maybe someone else out there would find it just as useful as me. So, until next time, whenever that will be, relax, it'll go better.